What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Configuring Cisco Threat Response. I'm Adi Shankar from Cisco Security Integrations Team, and in this tutorial, we'll use security intelligence from Threat Response to block an IP address on Firepower Threat Defense devices. This integration requires admin credentials to both Threat Response and Firepower Management Center. A quick look at our agenda here. We'll first test connectivity to an IP address that we intend to block. We'll walk through the configuration to block the IP address using Threat Response. Then we'll confirm the test machine is no longer able to reach the IP address in question. First, I'll bring up a test machine that sits behind my FTD device. Let's try to ping 34.234.4.92, which is the IP address I intend to block. Okay, cool. I expect to get a reply back. Now let's dive into the Threat Response configuration. From the top menu bar, select Intelligence. In the left pane, select Indicators, then use a dropdown to set the source to Private. Then click Create Indicator. I'll enter a meaningful title. I'm choosing this indicator to never expire, and I'll also add a description of what I'm using this for. The rest of the fields are optional based on user preference. However, best practice for this purpose is to select both IP watch list and private threat feed in the type section. Lastly, hit save to create the indicator. Next, in the left pane, we need to select saved feeds. Then click create feed URL. I'll title this FMC65 IP block feed. In the indicator field, enter the same indicator we just created. We'll leave the output type as observables and then hit save to generate the feed URL. This feed doesn't require any authentication to view, so I recommend keeping it classified. I'll copy the feed URL to my clipboard. We'll use this URL to configure a custom security intelligence list. From the FMC UI, in the top menu, select Object, then select Object Management. In the left pane, scroll down and select the Security Intelligence dropdown. Now is a good time to note that this process is nearly identical to block URLs on Firepower. For those who have also created a URL watchlist indicator, selecting URL lists and feeds will allow you to add a custom URL feed. In this case, for IP addresses, click Network Lists and Feeds, and then add a new network feed. I'll name it Threat Response IP Block. And once we set the type to feed, we'll be able to paste in our feed URL. Hit Save to finish creating the object. Now we need to add the newly created object to our policy. In the top menu, select Policies, and then select Access Control. We'll click the pencil icon to the right to edit the policy. Next to the Rules tab, select Security Intelligence. Under Available Objects, I'll search for the object we just created. Select the object and then add it to the blacklist. To complete the Firepower configuration, simply save and deploy the changes. Back in the Threat Response Investigate UI, the last step of the configuration is to create a judgment on the IP address we want to block. Using the pivot menu, select Create Judgment. Tie the judgment to the indicator we created in the first step. Choose a disposition from the dropdown. For now, I'll leave it as unknown. I'll also add a valid reason. Hit Save to finish the judgment. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Our configuration is complete. We've added an IP address to our saved feed. The FMC is configured to download security intelligence from the feed URL we created. FMC will pass this information on a blacklist to FTD devices, thereby blocking traffic to the IP address in question. Let's bring up the test machine again to try and ping 34.234.4.92. This time we can see that the pings do not get a reply. In addition, if we investigate another IP address, we can append it to our existing feed. For example, I will create a judgment for a new IP address of 54.81.104.233. I'll tie it to the same indicator and select Save. Now if I navigate to my confidential saved feed URL, I'll be able to see all the observables attached to the feed. Now that we have seen this new feature in action, I encourage all Firepower customers to take advantage of this long-awaited capability. Even for customers not using Firepower, the saved feed URL provides third-party devices, private security intelligence from threat response. 
Last but not least, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more tutorials from Cisco's security integrations team.